Welcome to our new home. It's 2002 Memorial Day weekend. We're having a barbecue. Why don't you come on in? I'll show you. I had an excellent childhood. I remember just being such a happy kid. I loved being around my family and friends. I loved telling jokes. I remember loving to jump rope. Um, I loved playing games with friends and hanging out. Laughed a lot. A lot of laughter in my childhood, I remember. Gordon College was the only Christian college I applied to. Um, it also seemed to have a lot of positions of leadership that students could fill, which really drew me here. I would say now being a senior, it's really good to um, have relationships with a lot of other students that are currently at Gordon. Um, it's kind of weird because obviously there's a lot of classes that have moved out as well, but every year getting to new, you know new fresh faces has been just a blessing. Um, so walking down from, you know, cost to lane, seeing familiar faces, seeing faces that I don't know, introducing myself, giving high fives, saying hello, asking people how they're doing. Um, it's something that's so special that's found in such a small, intimate community. Oh, me and Brandon, we go way back. We met in, um, I think it was eighth grade. Yeah, we were, we were church friends first, but then we went to high school together, and uh, we talked all the time, best friends. I take her somewhere special, um, usually some type of cafe or somewhere lovely, and we just get to catch up. Um, I think I'm a really good listener. I think I like to just hear her out. Um, we met a couple of weeks ago. Um, we, our, our like special meeting place is in the basement of Frost. We don't have the same friend groups. I guess he just like doesn't, he doesn't want to be seen with me. He, he's pretty busy, you know, he's the president. He's pretty busy, he's, he's busy. Oh yeah, Brendan's a really good listener. Actually, he, he doesn't really say much at all. Sometimes I wonder, you know, if he's like paying attention. But it's nice, it's, it's nice to catch up, I guess. And how often do you meet with her? Uh, probably every few days, uh, pretty often. It's something I really value and I think is really special to me and her. I'm Peter. And how do you know Brandon? Brandon's my roommate. He's been roommates for two years. One person in particular I could think of is Peter Kang. Um, and we actually were in the same hall my freshman year and we've been friends ever since. And Brandon is very active. Are you okay with that? Well, um, sometimes it gets too much and um, I have bruises in my body, so... I feel like Peter is like a little brother to me. I kind of love just like joking around with him, hanging out, watching TV, sometimes we work out together. Um, and one of my favorite things to do with Peter is, um, he's not the best at getting up in the morning, so I love to be the first face that he sees every morning. He sometimes gets physical, so when I'm exercising or watching TV, when we're watching TV, he tends to you know, punch me or grab me and you know shake me, but it's, it's all good, it's a guy thing. Would you room with Brandon again if you could? No, no. Wait, is Brandon gonna see this? I know Brandon because I work with him because he's the president. It's a really special relationship working one-on-one -on -one with Brandon. She's definitely taught me a lot. And something that I like doing with Sarah is really working with the idea of empowerment. So instead of this idea of me being the president and her being the vice president, it's more of a, a team. We work together on a lot of things. Um, oh, it was great. When, when we first met, he, he said we did everything together and he wanted to be part of a team. We still work together great. I mean, he likes to bring me to get decorations for our parties and stuff like that. Of just giving her a project to kind of run with and her coming back with ideas for me. She has incredible ideas um, and ideas that just something I could never think of. It's time that uh, he used one of your ideas or you presented him an idea. Never. And I can say we've just accomplished so much because of her and the great things she brings to the table in GCSA. Well, do you realize that sometimes things that you do affect people in a negative way? 
I, I would say that's false. I don't think anything I do really affects anyone in a negative light now. Well, your friends would say otherwise, Brandon. This, this video kind of feels like an attack, if I'm being honest. I... He doesn't love the way that you wake him up in the morning. He doesn't like that. No. Wow, okay. Well, it seems like he likes it. Uh, your co-worker, Sarah, I talked to her earlier today, too. She thought that you don't always take her ideas seriously. Really? I think I've given her room to grow and pursue these ideas that, you know, sometimes don't work out, but I, I let her try them, and maybe it's on her that her ideas just aren't working. Brendan, I'm not sure if you realize this, but I don't think your friends really like you. My friends don't like me.